Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Fresh milk. Couldn't be any fresher right out the faucet, son. There you are. Better in Sasparilla. Uh. Paul? When it comes to fresh milk, I'm quicker than a hound with a bean pot. You dry? Dry. Friend, I'm sand to my shoes. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, short and sweet. Have another? With pleasure. You know, I sometimes figure the good Lord must love grass. He put cows on this earth to eat it and mortal humans to enjoy the goodness resulting from the combination. Now, sir, if you'll let a mule skinner earn his keep. Go ahead. Where you headed, stranger? North Fork. Name's Bartell. Wood Bartell. Oh, you don't have much further to go. Business or pleasure, Mr. Bartell? Neither, friend. I'm a, I'm a figure of ridicule. I'm a husband looking for a wife who can't stand the sight of him. Oh, say, you seen or heard talk about a woman named Leona Bartell around this part of the country? Last time I heard, she was headed for North Fork. Leona Bartell. No, oh, I can't say I have. Well, no, she wouldn't be using my name. Uh, she quit that when she quit me. She'd be calling herself Leona Pickford again. Leona Pickford. Oh, wasn't she? Well, there you are, brother. Thank you. Yeah, I've been on the trail three months following her, town to town, getting closer by the inch. Sooner or later, I'll catch up. And when I do, she'll remember the day. Well. I thank you, brother, for the refreshment. Sounds like you didn't lose much Bartell, or maybe you still care for her. Care about her? I've washed my hands of the Jezebel. Outside chastisement, there's nothing I have left to offer. I follow her to get back my own. The babe, my daughter. I will not have this small one follow in the steps of her mother. Paul? There were some uh, pitfalls near Jackass Meadows. Kindle us, as I recollect. Yeah. You put this in the cooler, son. I've got to saddle up. Lucas, haven't seen you in quite a spell. Even Liz. I'm looking for a relative of mine, a kissing cousin, you might say. Name's Leona Bartell. We got a Leona, but her name's Pickford, not Bartell. Well, she'll do. Room nine. She's not here. She's working. At the last chance. Since when? Almost a week now. You ought to come in more often and keep track of things. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> Oh, Shenandoah, I love your daughter. I knowed I'd find you in some sink of iniquity if I looked long enough, strong enough. Having once tasted the abominations of Egypt, you couldn't leave them alone, could you? I don't know about Egypt, mister, but around here we're short on abominations. I'll leave her alone. I was just singing a song, Wood. Why aren't you singing a hymn? I'm waiting. I said leave her alone. Now out, all the way. Be still, publican. 
rest of you whiskey drinking dissolute stand fast. I want no interference when I address my wife. <laughs> Slow down, Leona. San Francisco stays don't come in till tomorrow afternoon. I know. He's bound to find me before then. Find us. Hello, Leona. Liz? Hello, Lucas. Lucas McCain. Oh, come in. My goodness, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been ten years. I uh, saw you at the last chance. Oh, yes. Well, then you must have seen Wood. Oh, I did. Uh, look, Leona, I don't mean to pry, but uh, how did you happen to marry him? I was singing in a place down Fort Worth. Same kind of an act I'm doing here. He came in, kind of big and brawny, but quiet and clean. He talked real soft to me. Talked about loneliness and about love and family, work and devotion. He talked of everything, I guess, except what was on his mind. What was that? To confer salvation on what he thought was about the worst kind of a woman he could dig up. And then when the baby came, he decided she was the one needed to be saved. Well, I decided the only kind of saving we needed was from him. So I ran. I got as far as here and ran out of money. Now he's coming to take my little girl. Leave it with me, honey. And if you don't have her when he comes, you'll have to look elsewhere. It won't do any good. He'll watch me and he'll search the hotel. He'll search everywhere till he finds us. Mr. McCain don't live in town. Oh, now, Liz, you... Wait a minute. I, I don't know any of our babies. Oh, Lucas, could you take her, please, just for tonight? Listen, I'll tell Wood that I left her with friends in Texas, and maybe after a while he'll get tired of looking around here and you'll just go away. Oh, please, Lucas, just till the San Francisco stage comes in. Leona, I, I can't interfere between a husband and wife. Please. Oh, she'd be safe enough out at the ranch, all right, but I don't know any more about riding her and this little slicker than she does about the price of cattle. Hello. Oh, she's such a good baby. You'd hardly know she's around. Well, feeding and changing's all you have to do. Come here, baby. Come here, sweetheart. You're a godsend. Lucas, the stage leaves tomorrow at 4 p.m. Well, I'll put her in your arms as soon as you climb aboard. Don't you worry about it. He's, uh, you know, rigging things. Oh, the diapers. <laughs> Just a minute. Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello, baby. Well, I'll surely say you took your time, whatever your business was. someone? You. You're late. I want to be alone with my wife. She doesn't want to be alone with you. Anything you have to say to me isn't private. I want my daughter. I haven't seen your daughter since I left her with friends in Wallace County. Your words are as false as the color on your lips. Where is she? I'm telling you the truth, Wood. 
The baby isn't here. Now will you leave me alone? I don't care to even look upon you. I came for my child. Move along, mister, or I'll yell for the marshal. Once you said, whither thou goest, there I go. It's the other way around now. You'll get no peace from me, Leona. The baby was with you in Santa Fe, and Albuquerque, and Socorro. She's here now. I will find her. How's the fire in the smokehouse, son? Everything's fine. Tomorrow I'd pepper the hams and wrap them. Well, the baby's crying, Paul. Now she's crying louder. Well, maybe she'd like a piece of bacon rind. That makes good, Sean. No, she's probably just thirsty. Well, this is still warm. I'll give her another pool. She's already had two. Well, maybe she wants three. All right. I'm afraid her deck's gonna be a wash. Like you've got the right touch, son. Nothing to it. <laughs> she couldn't eat any more. Any more than she had found her. Well, after you feed him, you're supposed to sling him over your shoulder and pack him around a little. Come on, baby. Come on now. That's the baby. That's the baby. That's the baby. Come on now, baby. Come on. You suppose she's bloated? Well, she hasn't had any green feet, I know of. No, I think she'll be all right now. I guess it's time to learn all about three-cornered riches. Well, I fed her. Yeah. Well, you get me a rigging, son. Sticky with this pin. You don't even know her name, Mark. Yeah, we ought to call her something besides baby. Uh, something that suits her. Well, say, how about fancy? That suits her. Fancy, fancy it is. Fancy, you better get some shut up. Might be a hard day tomorrow. Oh. Mark, you know any lullabies for a baby girl? Boys, we're taking it at ease, says one. I'll tell you something, boys, if you will listen, please. I am an old cow puncher, and here I'm dressed in rags. But I used to be a roughin' and go on great big jags. Thank you, John. <laughs> Come on, Fancy. Come on. Oh, sweet or not, she wants no part of it. Well, she's not much for guns, either. It ain't a teasing ring, son. She just needs to be packed. Babies like to move around. Take a look at things, huh? Why, if your mother knew the treatment you were getting here, she'd snatch you back quicker than lightning. Might as well take board with a grizzly bear and a club wolf, huh? Stop, Josh, and Micah. <laughs> Yeah. Looks to be in prime condition and gaining weight. Mikey, you think Wartell's gonna stay in town? He's not gonna give up, Lucas. I figure he wants to hurt Leona more than get the child back. Well, that's the way he can hurt her the most. You know, I was thinking, we might avoid a lot of tribulations if Leona got on that stage alone. You could be at Granite Creek when they come by. Well, that's a good idea, Mikey. I'll write in and tell Leona. Mark, you think you can handle things till I get back? Well, sure, Paul. It's getting that so changing diapers ain't no more trouble than shoeing a horse. You want to keep the baby in the house, son. Uh, 
Oh, I, I have one more show to do before the stage gets in. How's the baby? Oh, she's bright as a new dollar. Where's Wood? He's still sulking around. Lucas, am I going to be able to get on that stage with the baby? Well, as a matter of fact, no. The baby and I will meet you at a fork in the road outside town. Oh. What happens then, Leona? What happens if he finds you in San Francisco and you're among strangers? I don't know. I just don't know. I'd like to get separated from him legal, and then if he kept on pestering me, I could get the law after him. That takes money. Well, uh, I have a little. Oh, no, I can't accept that kind of help. You see, I have to make it on my own. If I don't owe any debt to any man, then Wood can only speak lies. Well, I think Mr. Bartell and I better have a talk. He's not a very good listener. Well, maybe it's time he learned. Well, howdy, son. Anybody home? Oh, just me. Something I can do for you, Mr. Bartell? No, oh, just passing through. Must get awful lonesome out here. Well, not so much. Well, I, I gotta get back to work. We're smoking. Well, I'll tell Pa you stopped by. Well, what are you smoking? Oh, some bacon, a ham, and some jerky. What are you using? Well, green oak bark. You mind showing me how it's finished up inside? Oh, you're scared I might steal something, huh? Of course not. Well, it's just that Pa and I, we didn't exactly build it for show. I'd like to see it regardless, son. Come on, son. You show me, huh? How does your daddy hang the meat? Well, unhook some racks. Oh, I'd like to see those hooks. Well, they're just hooks. I'd like to see what a rack of bacon looks like hanging in the cool smoke. I'd like to remember what it was, the smell of hickory smoldering and the salt and the fat dripping down. Go on, open it up. Of course, when I was a boy, my daddy kept the lock on there to keep us out. My daddy didn't truly think he'd live the week out lest he'd taken the plow trace to me by Saturday. He was right. Bitter lessons. But I learned, and I'm thankful. Don't sound much like fun, Mr. Bartell. We wasn't put in this world to have fun. Now, you go on, lay down the floor. There's air next to the floor. While you're there, say a few prayers for your lazy, fun-loving nature. I wasn't much older than you. My daddy said to me, Woodson, you better get next to your maker. And I tried to crawl out of it, so he brought the leather down to my back. I began to see. He scourged the devil out of me, son. I never forgot it, and I never will. Now, son, I could help you likewise, but I got other business. Don't get down there. Lay down on the floor. <laughs> Sweeney, you seen that Bartell around? No, and I'm not sorry for it either. No, he was carrying a whip. He ran out all for an hour ago, Lucas. <laughs> how'd you get her? I asked you a question, how'd you get her? Well, I got her back. That was important. Where's Mark? Well, he's unharmed. My hand was not laid upon him. He's a good boy. Now, that child belongs with Leona. Mother's got her rights. She's a good mother and a fine woman. Well, this one belongs to me. Only to me. I know. Leona cast wicked bread upon the water, and then's coming home to roost. Don't you know what heartache is, Mr. Bartell? Why? I've always known. Then return the child to its mother. You 
caused enough hurt already. Look after your child. I'll look after mine. Mark? You all right, son? Yeah, but he took the damn seat. I know that. Let's go to town. Oh, yes, pretty boys, we're coming out tonight. We're coming out tonight. We're coming out tonight. Oh, yes, pretty boys, we're coming out tonight. Dance by the light of the moon. I dance with a doll with a hole in her stocking, and her heel kept a rocking, and her toe kept a knocking. I dance with a dolly with a hole in her stocking. Leona. Don't you never forget where you was and what you was doing the last time you saw your little daughter. Please let me have her, Wood. Please. By what right do you do this? The right of a father to save his child from the corruption that surrounds us. You let me by. You want to bring joy to the child or grief to its mother? It's not righteousness you're full of, Bartell, but wounded pride. Is it vengeance you're striving for, or the happiness of your daughter? Well, I tell you, you're not going to take that baby away from his mother by force. No man can stop me. Well, that remains to be seen. Now, you're a big man when it comes to pushing around a woman and a young boy. How do you stack up against someone your own size? Keep your distance, and I'll give you a good portion of this black snake across your back. Well, I'm sick of your hypocritical hogwash. You're not fit to look at that baby. I come not with peace, but with a ten-foot sword. It will now do for you, brother. was beaten into me as a child. Beaten out of me as a man. Take care of yourself, Leona. Me too. It was a pretty baby. I don't think I've ever seen a prettier one. I did. Some years ago, back in the nations. It was one evening after a hard day of rounding up strays. I rode back to the ranch house, and there was this little newborn calf. Couldn't have been much, so oh, much bigger than that. Didn't weigh as much as a sack of baked beans. But there it was, squall and a moon. Sure was cute. Whatever happened to the calf? Couldn't seem to get rid of it. Kept following me around wherever I went. Finally, I had to put some clothes on and send it to school. <laughs> 